Hey, good morning. Kyler Hawthorne here from Veracity Motors. I just wanted to shoot you a real quick walk around video on our 2020 GMC Terrain SLT that we have here on the lot. This one has about 67,000 miles on it. We've got it Veracity value priced at 23,863. So I'll go ahead and show you the overall condition of it, some of the awesome features that are on it and everything like that. All right, here it is, the 2020 GMC Terrain SLT. This is a super nice unit, got a really good all-wheel drive system on it and very fuel efficient as well. Got that 1.5 liter four-cylinder turbo in it and it makes about 28 miles per gallon out on the highway, so very fuel efficient for its size. This one has a very nice set of wheels on it and the tires on this thing are basically brand new. They've got tons of life left in them. This one also has the proximity key on all four doors. And so as long as you have the key within about a foot of the vehicle, you can hit this button. It'll lock or unlock the vehicle for you, which is really nice. If you combine that with the push button start, you really never have to take your keys out of your pocket, which is fantastic. This one also has a very nice reverse camera on it. And that's located right here below the M on GMC. And then you also have the luggage rack rails right across the top. So if you did want to throw anything on there, it's ready for the crossbars. You can mount them right to it. Uh, and you can put all sorts of stuff on there, whether it be a luggage box or mountain bike setup or anything like that, really. Now, being that this is a used vehicle and it does have a few miles on it, there are a few very minor cosmetic issues on it. And I'll kind of point some of those out right now. So back here, there are a couple of scrapes on this back uh, little hatch area, basically from someone sliding things across the back of this rear bumper. Again, very minor cosmetic issue, nothing to worry about, uh, but just want to make sure that you are aware of it. Uh, and then the only other flaw that I have found on this thing, there is a very minor little kind of scrape. Actually, I don't even think that's a scrape in the paint. Just a little minor scrape there, and then one very minor little rock chip here. Other than that though, this thing is in excellent condition. But that's essentially what the exterior is looking like. So we'll go ahead and move on to the interior. Here is what your cargo space is looking like. Plenty of space back here for any sort of groceries or luggage or anything like that that you might need to haul. You also have a little bit of underfloor storage on this one. So if you wanted to throw some roadside equipment down here or anything like that, you absolutely have that option. And then you can also lift this up and your spare tire as well as your roadside uh, equipment are located just below that. You can also, if you have anything longer that you need to stow, you can also drop these seats forward. And so you have these little levers here and you basically just give it a pull and it'll release that seat for you and drop it pretty much perfectly flat. That way you've got plenty of cargo space for anything longer that you might need to stow in here. And with those seats folded flat, you have a ton of space. And here's what things are looking like in the second row. Plenty of space back here for passengers, whether they're adults or kiddos. And the seats and everything are in excellent condition. You've got a very nice leather interior with the brown stitching on it. And then you also have a couple of USB ports back here. So you can charge up cell phones, tablets, anything like that. You also have a straight up 110 plug just below that. And here's what things are looking like up front. Again, very nice black leather interior. Got that brown stitching, which really helps break that black up and just gives it a very nice look. And again, the seats and everything are in excellent condition. No tears, no stains, no wear marks. Absolutely nothing of that sort. And then all of your seating controls are gonna be just down here on the side of the seat. So you can move the seat forwards, backwards. You can also adjust the seat, whether you just want the front half to come up or if you want the whole seat to lift up. You can also adjust the backrest with this little lever here. And then you've got these buttons here for your lumbar support. 
And here's what things are looking like from the driver's seat. You notice right off the bat, you have a very nice gauge layout on this one and a very nice digital center stack on there. Lots of good driving information that can be displayed for you on that center stack. If you'd like to change the information that's on there, all you have to do are go to these little arrows on the right side of the steering wheel, and you can shift through all of the different pages that are available, and you can see all sorts of different information. If you get to a page where you wanna see more information, all you have to do is go up or down with those little arrows, and you can shift through and, uh, and see all of the different information that you need to. Couple more buttons here on the steering wheel. So you've got your voice recognition assistant. You've also got your cell phone button, so you can answer or end phone calls with the button there. And then you've got your pre-collision detection system on here as well. Uh, over to the left, you've got your cruise control settings. So you can turn your cruise on or off with these buttons here. You can uh, increase or decrease by mile per hour uh, with the plus or minus. And then you can also set the cruise control at whatever speed you'd like to go. Just behind the steering wheel, got a couple different multifunction switches here. So you can adjust all of your windshield wipers with this right stick. Uh, and then you can also adjust your rear wiper with this little dial here on the end. And then on the left side, this is gonna control your brights as well as your blinkers. Uh, so this one has the automatic brights on it. So they will um, actually turn on or off if there's any sort of incoming cars or anything like that, they'll shut off for you. But once you get over a certain speed, they'll actually just automatically turn on for you, which is really nice. You don't have to worry about blinding people as you're going down the road at night. Over on the dash behind the steering wheel, you've got a couple different controls over here and this is all gonna be lighting controls. So you've got your headlights here in the middle. Of course, it's got the automatic mode, so they'll turn on and off automatically. You've got your daytime running lights and then you can also just turn the headlights on manually if you'd like to. And then over on the right is gonna be your fog lights. Uh, so with the push of a button, you can turn those on or off. Over on the left here is going to be a little pop-out dial, and that is to adjust the brightness of all of the screens and things like that in here. Over on the door, you've got your door locks up top here. And then just below that, you've got your power mirror controls. So you can make the selection on which mirror you'd like to make the adjustments on, and then make those adjustments with the arrows there. You've got your power window locks, and then you've got all of your main power window controls. Over in the center console area, this is what your entertainment section's looking like. So you've got a nice big eight inch touchscreen on here. It's got all of the modern capabilities built into it. Of course, you've got the AM and the FM. It's also got the satellite radio, Bluetooth, and then this one also has the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, where it will literally put your cell phone on this center stack for you. And you can play music through it, make phone calls, do all of that stuff right through the system here, which is fantastic. Uh, like I mentioned before, this one also has a very nice reverse camera on it and uh, very nice, clear, no delays or anything like that. Really makes backing out of parking spots or garages or anything super easy. It's also got the guidance built into it so you can see exactly where your path of travel is and where you're gonna end up as you're backing up. Just below that, you've got some radio controls here. So you've got your volume here on the left and then a tuning knob here on the right. You can also skip through the station songs uh, or anything like that with the skip buttons. You can also jump through the home screen uh, with this little home button. So if you're in the menu here, you can hit this home button. It'll bring you right back to that main screen. And then you've also got a back button. So if you wanna go back from any screen that you made selections on, you can just hit that back button. It'll take you right back. Down in the middle here, you've got your hazards. And then just below that, you've got your climate control. So this one does have the dual climate control on it. You can set the temperature of the vehicle individually for each side. Uh, and so if your passengers are getting a little bit cold, they can crank their heat up. Uh, or if they hop out of the vehicle, say you drop them off, you can hit this sync button and easily match the uh, driver's side uh, temperature. This one also has the automatic mode on it. Uh, so very similar to like a home thermostat or something like that. You just set the temperature that you want. You hit this automatic mode. It'll adjust the fan speeds, the temperature coming out of the vents, all of that different stuff all automatically for you. Uh, here in the middle, you've got a couple of different zone selectors. And then if you want to manually adjust the fans, you do have the option with this little dial right here in the middle. Just below that, you've got your push button style shifter. So you've got your park, uh, neutral and low. And those are all gonna be push buttons. And then your reverse and your drive are both going to be pull out buttons. It really helps clean up the interior uh, and gives you a lot more space for storage and things like that throughout the center console. 
Speaking of storage, just below your shifter, you've got a nice little cubby here. You've also got a couple different USB ports for charging as well as an auxiliary port. And then a standard 12 volt plug here for any accessories that you might have. Just below that, you've got your cup holders. And this is what your key would be looking like. This one does have the factory auto start on it. So all you have to do is hit the lock button and then press and hold this auto start button here in the middle and it will start right up for you. Super nice during winter. Just behind all of that, you've got a couple more buttons here. So on the left side, you've got your heated seats for your driver and then heated seats for your passenger over on the right. And then in the middle, you've got your terrain management system. So you can shift from two wheel drive to four wheel drive to an off road mode. And you can shift through all of that on the fly as you're driving down. As road conditions are changing, you can throw it right into that all wheel drive mode and, uh, and be able to travel nice and smooth and not have to worry about anything. Over on the left here, you've got your hill descent control mode. So it's kind of like cruise control, except trying to keep you going slow um, down hills and things like that. It's mostly used for off-roading, um, not really something that you'd want to use through town, but just behind that, you've got your lane guidance system. And so this vehicle will actually read the lines on the side of the road and help keep you in between those lines. Very nice safety feature there. And then just behind that, you've got another little storage cubby. This is what your center console is looking like. Plenty of space in here. You also have this little removable tray. Uh, and then of course you've got a couple of different USB charging ports just below all of that. And like I said, tons of space in here. And over on the passenger side, here's what your glove box is looking like. Nice big glove box, plenty of space for all your important documents and anything else you might want to stow in there. And then here is just another general overview of how everything is looking in the 2020 GMC Terrain SLT. Overall, this thing is in excellent condition, it runs and drives fantastic, and it should definitely be a great car for its next owner. So like I said, just a real quick walk around on our 2020 GMC Terrain SLT. If you have any questions, if there's anything else you wanna see on the vehicle, definitely just let me know. You can reach me here at the store, 701-258-2277. Thank you.